Hey all, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Today is Monday, December 6th, 2010. Sorry, I almost blew that. And uh, I'm running a little late today, so I only have a couple of articles, or a few articles, but a lot of information, so here we go. To check out the full articles, please go to www.PhoneScholar.com. I will slow down. And questions, blog questions at PhoneScholar.com. And away we go. Android Gingerbread, the complete FAQ. The Android Gingerbread was announced. They are rolling it out. There's going to be a new phone that I'll tell you about in a second. But here's some of the information about what you're going to get. I'm going over this real quick, so if you want to see all the explanations of this, please go to the website and check out the full article. The biggest new features, faster speed, better battery life, and what will happen is the, uh, the Gingerbread polices apps that are running in the background. If they're using too much power, they will actually shut them down. So, or put them on standby so it won't take away from your battery. Better app management and updater, updated user interface. What will look different? Updated color scheme, new keyboard which will be faster and more intuitive, improved cut and paste, easier file management, and better camera management which is really cool. And then the new technologies is the near field communication which will have, if there's, you could take your phone, put it up to something in a store that has this technology, it'll scan and put it into the phone and tell, give you the information, so it's really cool. Uh, internet calling, lots of sensors, it has a gyroscope in it for gaming and stuff, and extra large screen sizes. And then, of course, the, one of the best things about it is a better gaming. Now, when is it coming out? Uh, again, I'll talk about this in the next article with the new phone. It looks like in a few weeks the Nexus 1, which normally gets the first of these rollouts, is going to have it. So if you still have a Nexus 1, you will get the uh, over-the-air upgrade. Uh, of course, all the Nexus 1 that is being used for developers will also get it. And then after that, uh, seeing that the Epic, uh, this Galaxy has Epic uh, 4G, was just now it's getting 2.2 that just rolled out. Who knows? This could be a little while, but then again, it could come fast and furious. So I'll keep you updated if I get any updates on that. On the heels of this, Google Samsung announces Nexus S smartphone. And that's the, uh, the parent to the, next, to the Google Nexus One. Although that was made by HTC, this is being made by Samsung. I don't know how that all works out. But this will be coming out with 2.3 installed. It's available on the 16th of this month, December, in 10 days. It's going to be available right now at Best Buy through T-Mobile. It's going to be for T-Mobile carrier at Best Buy. It doesn't say anything about being uh, available on T-Mobile also. We'll have to wait and see if that comes up. I guess it, I'm guessing it probably will be. $529 for unlocked, $199 with a two-year contract, uh, plus the data plan minus rebates. Uh, basic things of the phones, it's going to have <clears throat> uh, the Android 2.2, like I said, the near field communication. It is going to have two cameras. They have confirmed that. One gigabyte uh, processor. It will, like I said, have the gyroscope in it for gaming, which will be really cool, and a four-inch AMOLED screen. So uh, go ahead and check that out on the 16th. For those of you who have been waiting for a newer Android phone, there it is at Best Buy. Next, the best smartphone on each platform, and this is kind of a no-brainer, but for all five platforms, Gizmodo, which is an excellent uh, company that does reviews and things like that, kind of like I do, but to the next level, uh, put out an article saying the best one for each one. So like for the, uh, for the iOS, the iPhone 4 of course, for Android they said both the Epic 4G and the Droid Incredible are the best for the Android right now. For Windows Phone 7, the Samsung Focus, which is a terrific phone. I got a chance to play with a friend of mine and it's a really nice phone. Uh, for BlackBerry, the BlackBerry Bold 9780. Again, very fast, very good phone. And then for Palm, the Palm Pre 2. So uh, check those out. Next. Top 10 apps LTE will supercharge. And for those of you who don't know what LTE is, I did put a link uh, that if you click on it will tell you, take you to a site explaining exactly what LTE is. So check that out. Um, now, with these apps, you have to remember of usage because Verizon is over, only offering the five or 10 gigabyte plans. And you can literally, using some of these apps, get up there within half an hour. So, but I didn't do all 10, but here's the, the top ones that I thought of. Netflix and Hulu, music videos, web browsing, multiple sessions. So if you have YouTube, web browsing, and downloading all at the same time, LTE will help keep the speed going at a constant pace and not slow you down, which is really great. Video calling, and then for those of you who are really into it, World of Warcraft. They're saying that's going to be great, and they actually said that if you're on 4G and the person you're going against is on 3G, you may actually get things faster and quicker, which will help you win the game. So that's a good thing for you also. Like I said, short and sweet, that's all I got for you today. Have a great day. I will talk to you tomorrow.